Danielle Press from EcoSuper, CEO. We're here at Fun Forum International. Yes. One thing Fun Forum's looking at particularly this year is the importance of engaging a new generation. Yes. That's something your company and the Australian industry in particular are seen as leaders in. Absolutely. Um, and Australia is a little different because we're a compulsory system. So we have younger members coming through our system all the time. But it's critically important that we engage with them to ensure that they don't do stupid things uh, like go and set up a fund all by themselves when they don't have the expertise um, so that they're not making uh, investment decisions that will be detrimental in the long term. And, and it's really important to us as an industry that we, we start talking to people as if they are outside of the industry you know we talk to ourselves a lot you know we talk about asset allocation and we talk about equities and bonds and we get all very excited about that my members don't care right my members want to know what is this pool of money going to look like in the end what is the income they can get from it at the back end of the, of the day and what is the lifestyle that they're going to get from that and so we need to start talking to them about things that matter and not about things that we want to talk about because quite frankly that doesn't matter quite as much. So it's about language, communication and outcome? It is. It's absolutely about outcome and it's about language and it's about trust. And so we need to speak to people in a way that develops and builds that trust. And instead of assuming that they're stupid, let's assume that they can actually understand this and bring them along on the journey. Um, I think that as finance people, again, we often talk in a language that is very complex and very, comp and very confusing. We think that you know, investing is a black art and it's just not. Um, and we need to help unwind that and unravel that for our members. Indeed, because that hasn't helped with reputation for the industry, has it? Not at all. Not at all. And you know, we, we have to admit when we're wrong and we have to admit when we're right. Very good at the right bit, not so good at the wrong bit. Um, and we also have to manage our money in a way that, that works for our members. So saying, that's okay, we lost 18% of your money last year, but everybody else lost 22, so aren't we great? We need to acknowledge that that's a really bad outcome for our members, so we need to look at the ultimate outcome as well and look at more, in our mind, more of an absolute return type conversation. At Fun Forum International, there's an awful lot of people under one roof. You get a there chance is. to impart some of what you've learned in Australia. There is. Will you be trying to do that this I'll week? I will certainly be trying to do that when I'm speaking at the uh, at the conference. But I think also as I as I speak to other people in the conference, learning what they're doing, I think we can always get better. Um, you know, Australia has had a compulsory system for 20 years, which has put us in a fantastic position. But we need to do better. Um, we talked a little bit about our younger people. We also need to work out what we're doing with our older people. You know, one of the things that we've learned is that we thought accumulation was hard, deep accumulation is even harder. So I think there are people in the world that are doing pension phase better or as well as, as we are and we need to learn more about that. With the chance to communicate here and being seen as, as leaders in this next generation step, mm. if you like, is that quite a responsibility for you? It's a you? huge responsibility and it sort of scares me a little bit, um, particularly as I try to engage with my nieces and nephews and my niece in particular says, yeah, that's great, but I just want shoes. <laughs> How can I argue with that? Um, but, you know, I think that, again, if we're the leaders in this space, we need to be branching out. We need to be talking to other industries as well. Um, and what frightens me, I guess, from, from superannuation and, and pension and finance in general is we, we get scared and concerned about our own competitors. So we think about the banks as our competitors. What worries me more are people like Google, Tesco, um, our supermarkets that will come into this space and compete in our space and we need and they are really good at talking to the and food they're good with the younger generation they're very good with that and we need to work out how we battle with that and how we combat that and how we learn from that and what do you hope if somebody speaks to you at this conference they take away from this um, I, I guess how important it is um, again start talking to your, your customers not yourselves um, for us is really important and also making sure that you segment the conversation. So having a conversation with a 30 year old is very different from a 40 year old or a 50 year old. A tailored but approach. A, it has to be a tailored approach and it also has to be tailored on something more than age. So what we're finding is some of our 35 year olds are really engaged with superannuation, right? So we can't just assume they're not. Some of our 65 year olds don't care. So we need to tailor on things other than just age because I think age is far too blunt. Danielle, thank you very much. I hope you thank get you. your message across this thank week. You.